Russian military forces have introduced a sophisticated radar system, known as Urbis, into the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, significantly altering the battlefield dynamics. Designed for high mobility and rapid deployment, Urbis boasts a detection range of approximately 150 kilometers, capable of identifying various ground and airborne threats with precision. The system's versatility allows it to detect enemy artillery, rocket launchers, mortars, as well as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and manned aircraft, making it a crucial tool for both air defense and counter-battery operations. Its quick setup and mobility also enhance its survivability on the battlefield as it can swiftly relocate, presenting a challenging target for adversaries. To bolster its defences, Urbis is typically accompanied by a team equipped with anti-drone weaponry and electronic warfare capabilities. The radar operators themselves are shielded within a specially armoured compartment, ensuring their protection from shrapnel and other battlefield hazards. According to statements from Russia's Defence Ministry, Urbis has already been employed successfully to intercept Ukrainian attacks targeting civilian areas. By swiftly detecting incoming rockets, Urbis provides critical data to air defense units, facilitating timely responses to potential threats. Reportedly, Russian military personnel have successfully thwarted multiple attempts by the Ukrainian Armed Forces, AFU, to target civilians. Each missile is swiftly detected by the radar, and the information is immediately relayed to air defense units. Upon identifying a target, the Urbis crew promptly transmits coordinates to the artillery units and provides necessary corrections, significantly enhancing the effectiveness of counter-battery operations. During the past night, when the Kiev regime attempted to carry out terrorist attacks using aircraft-type unmanned aerial vehicles on the territory of the Russian Federation, air defense systems on duty destroyed seven UAVs over the Kursk region and one UAV over the Belgorod region, the mod said. In response to ongoing drone activities directed towards Russia following Ukraine's recent failed counteroffensive, Russian officials have condemned what they describe as deliberate assaults on civilian infrastructure, labeling them as indicative of the criminal nature of the Kyiv's government. Maria Zakharova, spokeswoman for Russia's foreign ministry, highlighted these attacks as evidence of what she termed war crimes, becoming synonymous with the Zelensky administration. President Vladimir Putin reiterated Russia's military operation initiated on February 24, 2022, stating its objective as the protection of individuals he claims have been victims of eight years of genocide under the Kyiv regime. The deployment of Urbis has provided Russia with a strategic advantage in its ongoing efforts to bolster military capabilities in the region. Meanwhile, Ukraine continues to face challenges in securing its borders.